Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. I will be walking you through fourth grade English, week number two, and day number three part of the curriculum. All right, so today's class, is, today's lesson is going to be about phonics and spelling, right? That's what we do on the third day of each week. All right, so we're going to be talking about orthography and spelling or phonics and spelling. And today's lesson in particular is going to be talking about formal and informal speeches. All right, so what is a formal speech? Well, a formal speech is a style of speech that you're going to be using when you're talking to an authority. You know, last week or um, I believe this week, actually, we talked about different kinds of letters that you can write, formal letters and informal letters. Well, when you're talking as well to people, you've got to understand how to talk formally when you're talking to an authority or informally when you're talking to a friend, a close relative, or some uh, work body of yours like that. So for example, when you want to talk to a judge, you know, there's a way to, you're going to talk to an authority. If you don't talk properly to an authority, you may get in trouble because of that. Why? Because you weren't trained on how to do that. That's the reason for this lesson. How do we do that? Watch with me. All right, it's important to understand how to talk with a formal speech, okay? When you're talking to people who hold authority, police officers, your pastors, judges, or any other person who's higher than you, you gotta talk with a formal speech. Well, an example of a formal speech is going to be, sir, could, I ask a question. All right. Well, that's a formal speech over there. So when you're in the courtroom, for example, you want to ask a question, you're going to say, well, my Lord, may I ask a question? Well, that's a formal speech. Well, an informal speech, talking to a friend or a close relative, you don't necessarily have to say, sir, or my Lord. You're just going to say, well, I've got a question. Okay. <laughs> That's how you're going to talk when you're talking to your friend. Hey, i got a question over there. Well, you don't say that to a judge. Or you're talking to the governor, you get in front of the governor, you say, Hey, i got a question. Well, that's going to be kind of rude, right? <laughs> and lots of people are like that right now in our generation. And that's the reason they get into a lot of trouble. If you talk to an authority like that, guess what? He's going to get pissed off at you. So there's nothing else that you're going to do or say in his presence that's going to hold water anymore. Because he sees you as a very uncultured, undisciplined, uneducated, and the list goes on, on and on and on. Well, he doesn't have any culture. We'll deal with him. That's how they're going to be thinking about you. <laughs> so formal speech is really important. Another example of a formal speech is you can say, uh... Uh, may I, may I make uh, this point, okay? So you want to talk to an authority. You can use the word may. May I ask for a favor? May I ask you please to do this for me? Well, that's talking in a formal speech style. Well, on the contrary, you can say, so somebody that's a, a close friend to you, you can say, well, tell me what to do. Okay, tell me what. <laughs> tell me what. Well, that's an informal speech over there. You're talking to a friend. But when you're talking to an authority, please don't say that. May I know what to do, okay? You stop word and say, wow, this person's really cultured over there. Make sure you think in terms of those. Well, talking formally, you can say goodbye. Okay, goodbye, when you're talking formally. Well, but when you're talking informally, you're just gonna say, well, bye. All right, bye. Well, 
that's okay if you're talking to your friend or some kind of close person to you. But when you're talking to an, to an authority, please and please put all of these facts and tip, tips to heart. That'd be really important. All right. Um, so we're going to be talking about a couple of more things on that workbook on page not in that workbook on page number 23, like reviewing speech clusters and consonants that we talked about in third grade. Uh, just I just it's part of the workbook so that you can remember because we're going to borrow from those ideas. We cannot go back to third grade right now to talk about the things we talked about before. So please go ahead and turn to page number 23 and 24. You are going to see additional tips over there to help you in your phonics and your spelling. All right. Thank you for joining me today, boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's bunny, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 